Hey, it's Heather K. This is day 65 of your 100 day journey for your path for success. This is a little bit of a bonus video that I make on my regular journey. My regular journey, I talk about my daily struggles and how I get through them. And then I elaborate on um, things every day that help me along to achieve my path. Like for instance, on my journey video, I talked about carbonated water. And that helps me get through the evening because I really struggle at the evening. I can have a perfect day and then get what I call the nighttime munchies. And it's like you're not even hungry. Um, it's a habit. Um, and I just start looking and my, my food of choice is carbs. I like popcorn. I like bread. I like toast. What else do I like? I, I will even eat my afternoon snacks. I will eat fruit. So if I had to, had to, had to, had to have a habit, I, it's okay to, for me to eat fruit. But I, I reserve fruit in the evenings for when I'm extremely hungry. And how you know you're hungry is because when you drink your water and your stomach is growling and it won't give up. If you have carbonated water, it kind of fills you up. But Trust me, you will know when you're hungry because you have, well, if you don't know, you're going to have to learn the different types of hunger, emotional hunger, real hunger, boredom. So I know because I tracked my water, I tracked my meals, I had more than enough today. Anything else would be too much. And the other thing is, um, when I think about working out, I think about a frying pan with fat and melting. So when I think about your fat on your body when you work out, it melts and it melts the fat. So you think about melted fat at the frying pan and it comes off your body. That's one way to look at it. And the second thing I look at when I think about hunger is that when I'm really, really hungry and I want to eat so bad and you guys know it. I know you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So when you get that hunger, you have to realize that your body is eating your reserved fat. You, you really want your body to eat this extra fat or melt it off. <laughs> I'd rather it eat it than go out and exercise because it's 1030 at night here and I don't want to even go for a walk to melt any fat right now. <laughs> it's not happening. So so last night I was so hungry and, and I might have genuinely genuinely been hungry so I grabbed my water and I drank it and I try to drink this early because this here will make you go to the bathroom. You've been warned. But it depends which is the worst of the two evils, going to the bathroom or feeling like you're going to starve to death. And trust me, I am not starving. It's just that my body is, is um, your body wants you to do things. It wants you to give it a quick fix. It wants that carb. It wants that sugar. And it's like this annoying friend. <laughs> that won't stop and you got to remember sometimes you're having an emotional episode that you can get to the other side of and when you get to the other side and you say no to hunger and you have water and if you really have to eat and you decide to have you know some maybe a handful or two of blueberries or some kind of fruit like a half a banana a small apple maybe a clementine you know grapes like you know maybe half a cup of grapes if you have to have it and, and you really need it, your body will be okay. And then um, when you have a snack, if you, if you feel like you want more in your body, your brain are not, your brain and your, and your food inside is not connecting, time yourself for 20 minutes. I've done this to my son. I've done it to myself. He says, Mom, I'm still hungry. And I think, but I know, but you had enough food. And he's a big kid. And... Uh, uh, he's a giant, actually. And he says, okay. So we got the timer out. And he said, let me see how you feel in 20 minutes. I said, how do you feel? And I'm smiling because he was not hungry. And he goes, I'm good. All right, we good. We're good. So off he went. So last night, I was having this big emotional episode. And I really, really wanted to stay true to my journey. And there's times because I just felt I wasn't true. And at least if weekends can be a little bit rough for me, then weekdays better be good. So last night I made myself something. And this is what I want to share before I have to go. 
it says open here if you think you think I've fallen off track. So I printed myself something. Hopefully you'll you'll enjoy what I printed. I never used this therapy, but I um, I've heard about people um, years ago. I'm talking like 20 years ago would put a picture of themselves in their wallet, or they would put a picture of themselves on their fridge when they were younger and thinner. So every time they open the fridge, they see a picture of where they were and what they're capable of and what they want to look like. So it's kind of like, I don't know, therapy, I guess. And so um, the other day, um, Facebook made a picture of me. And a friend of mine says, you're not any bigger there. You're the same size. Because I'm thinking, send me money for the plastic surgery to do this photo. And uh, I got a lot of responses. But one woman says, you just need good makeup. And she says, I'm going to do your makeup for you. And so that is going to be um, the next time. Um, she lives about five hours away. So not, you're going to laugh at this. So it says, don't go off track. Remember above. So it's a picture of me and this Facebook app put me in a fashion magazine. I think I might have showed, excuse me, this carbonated water is making me burn. It's showing a picture of me. This is me. This here is supposedly me with makeup. Now, it looks like a whole lot of less wrinkles, but I guarantee you I am not having cosmetic surgery. I earned all these lines, and I'm not going to get into Botox because cosmetic surgery will ruin your face. Look at any multimillionaire who has surgery. I mean, they really ruin their face. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to give you the chance to put makeup on me because if that's me so but what what I what I liked about this photo not not that I'm I don't have wrinkles I like that color lipstick I like the false eyelashes the hair is mine and it's just I, I cut too much out of it I think because I, I really like the hair now that I look at this one but it was just weighing me down so what I when I thought about the makeup which me I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup I've been going natural because I used to be all about makeup and I'm not now so what I did is, the, the thing I liked about this was my neck. I know that if I can lose um, 20, 30 pounds, I'm gonna lose fat on my neck, and I'm gonna feel more like this photo, right? By the way, just so you guys know, I'm in my 50s. Let that sink in. I deserve my wrinkles. And I like lines, I really do it. I think they're really, I don't know, I just, I couldn't wait till I got them. So now that I got them, don't want them. So uh, last, today, this is very inexpensive. <laughs> I bought false eyelashes. It's gonna be fun. I should actually have a video putting this on because at Christmas time, I tried to put on false eyelashes and I was late for Christmas Eve mass and the, the eyelash just wouldn't stick. And I managed to put one on one eye and it was just kind of like my eye and it was just hanging out there. And <laughs> And I ended up having to take it off because I had to go. I just had no more time I had to go. And you know what? For like two hours, I could feel my eyes sticking. <laughs> and I, I couldn't make it stop sticking. I had no time to, to wash it. I had to go. And it was the biggest disaster ever. But because of a lot of these um, Snapchat apps have um, eyelashes in it, everybody who has uh, false eyelashes they just look so beautiful so I thought hey I can't go wrong for ten dollars you know what I will make you a video and post it on there this is my life and the other thing I'm gonna post under this is my life is these nails I had these nails done for this ring for a photo shoot well they're starting to grow out and I could invest in the money but I'm unable to um, type and the problem I'm having is I made a big mistake on my bank I actually pressed the wrong button and, if, and I'm always pressing the wrong button, so the nails are too long, and and what I, I'm going to talk about this under, this is my life, so these nails are going to come off at some point, because this hand, I can't stand. This hand, I'm going to keep on for an extra day or two. Anyway, I'm sorry to bore you with my beauty tips, but maybe guys out there might find it funny and fascinating why women women do what they do. So anyway, this is your life. I'm just making my videos. I'm sorry to be so long-winded. But I really want to tell you how I struggled last night and how I'm struggling tonight. And, and the struggle is because of um, the toxins that are in my body. When you eat out, you're, you put yourself 
in their hands of who's ever cooking on how much butter and sugar and salt is in their food. The things they do that make food taste delicious. That when you make your own meal, you are more in control of that. And trust me, it's um, the toxins in your body. Let's take sugar, right? It, it triggers in you to want more. And your body is wanting that quick fix in, in your body for more, more fix with the food. So this is why it becomes a vicious habit. And, and you can cure that by making your own meals at home, packing a lunch, and uh, being in control to what you put in your body. That's about it. That's all I want to say. It took me a while to get it out, but I'm hoping that somebody somewhere is liking what I say and is really trying them. And it's going to leave me a comment that, you know what? Because you mentioned it, I already knew. And you're right. It does work. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Press like and share. Subscribe. Notification. All of that good stuff.